Hi and welcome to a new tech stuff episode on my channel. Um, today I'm going to talk about this little guy here. This is a voltage step down regulator uh, from Pololu. I'm going to show you the installation, uh, a short comparison with a normal LC filter from Fatshark, and I will do show you some footage from DVR recording the difference or, or a comparison between the Fatshark LC filter and the Pololu step down regulator, how good the uh, picture on your goggles is with uh, this step down regulator. So first let's have a look at uh, what we get if you order a step down regulator like this. Um, here we are, have some data, it's a 12 volt V out regulator, 600 milliamps and that's absolutely enough for powering your uh, VTX and your uh, FPV cam that works perfectly. In comparison, what we have is a fat shark filter. This is a modified version. I cut it down the size and took off all the connectors which are on the board uh, just to, to make it smaller, to get it in my race quad frame and to uh, reduce some weight. So what you get in the package is the step down regulator itself. And then you get two sets of pins, which you can solder to the four pins you can see on the board. But I think you don't need them because it's the uh, easiest way to, to directly solder your cables onto the four uh, pins you have here. Uh, let's have a look at the wiring. As you can see, there are four pins on the board. Uh, we have a shutdown pin, we have V in, we have ground and we have V out. Um, the wiring is pretty simple. You have um, V in which comes directly from your flight battery. So uh, 4S for example, normally it's 4S on your race quad. Ground also comes from your uh, flight battery. And V out is uh, the red wire which goes to uh, your VTX uh, normally to get the clean power uh, which comes out of the of the step down regulator to your VTX and the ground what you can see here it's this pin here is the same uh, pin you use for uh, power in and power out and this one uh, the out one second one on the same pin goes also to your VTX and then you can also do a split which goes to your to your flight cam, to your FPV cam to get the clean power to both components, to the VTX and to your uh, flight cam. What is very important at wiring is, as you can see, I uh, soldered the shutdown pin and the V-in pin Together, I jumped. I set the jumper there. Uh, the reason is uh, the shutdown pin uh, has the possibility to shut down, as the name says, shut down the board. If this happens, uh, you won't get enough power to power up your VTX and your flight cam. And if you do not jump solder the shutdown pin, there can be an unexpected shutdown of your uh, board. And that means you won't have any picture on your goggles during your flight and obviously you will crash. So that's what you want to avoid. So really make sure if you use this step down regulators, connect shutdown pin and V in pin like this. You make sure that uh, your board is always powered on and there cannot happen some unexpected shutdowns. So now let's have a look at the voltage we get. On VN we should have the battery voltage, so 16 point something with a fresh charged battery. Let's have a look. And we're at 16 point, almost 16.7, that's perfect. And let's have a look at the V out on the regulator. And we're on 11.9.91, so almost 12 volts what we expected and that's absolutely perfect for what we need. 
Then let's compare the modified fat shark LC filter versus the Pololu step down regulator. We do just a weight check, then we will also compare the size and there will be short footage about both filters so you can or filter and regulator you can show the difference of the dvr footage let's start with the weight let's turn on a scale and first we go with the fat shark uh, modified filter important to know if you get a normal fat shark filter uh, no modified it's eight grams so here i'm already down between one and two gram then the Polo regulator, uh, Polo talks about one gram and if we put it on the scale there is no weight and that means it, it's uh, under one gram and uh, the more important thing is the size so if we compare the already cut it down fat shark filter is uh, around 2.4 millimeters wide uh, or long and then the other length is around two centimeters and the height is around one centimeter and if you go to the polo we have 1.2 1.3 in length then in weight it's around one centimeter and the height well will be around two millimeters or something so super small, super light and if you have no PDB with regulated voltage outputs or no tramp VTX with all filters built in already, this is really the perfect choice to uh, get clean power for your VTX and for your FPV cam. And then let's compare the situation with V in and V out. The LC filter from uh, Fat Shark, you have uh, the same V in as V out. So, if you put on a 3S battery, for example, you have 11.1 volt in and 11.1 volt out. And if you put on uh, a 4S battery, you have 14.8 volt in and 14.8 8 volts out and with the Polaro step down regulator you can go up to 42 volts that's absolutely too much but uh, so that means you can fly with 6s if you like and absolutely no problem and you will always get your 12 volts or 11.9 volts uh, you're always uh, fine with uh, what you get uh, clean power out of this regulator. Then let's have a look if this uh, 600 milliamps are enough power for uh, powering the VTX and the FPV cam. The VTX I use is the Ishin uh, TX526 which can be switched between 25 milliwatts, 200 and 600 milliwatts which also means different uh, power consumption. You can see uh, with 25 milliwatts uh, we have consumption of 120 milliamps at 12 volts. That's what we get from the step down regulator. At 200 milliwatts we have 180 milliamps at 12 volts. And with 600 milliwatts we have 250 milliamps at 12 volts. The cam I use is the Foxier Arrow V3. Uh, which is a great cam. If we check the power consumption, we will be at around 70. Yes, here we go. Uh, just get a little bit closer. Here we go. Power consumption, uh, 70 milliamps. So normally you fly at maximum 200 uh, milliwatts. So that means around 200 milliamps of power consumption for your VTX plus 70, around 70 milliamps uh, for your uh, FPV cam. So we are at maximum 270, perhaps with different uh, VTX at around 300 milliamps, but uh, with 600 milliamps, you're really on the safe side. Also, if it's not 100% of these 600 milliamps you can get out of the regulator, 
you'll be fine for powering your VTX and your FPV cam. And finally, we do the comparison of the DVR recording from my Fatshark HD version 1 goggles and uh, I use a uh, Ishin Pro 8058 uh, receiver module on my goggles, uh, Fox, Foxy uh, circular polarized antenna on both sides, on the quad and on the, uh, on the goggles. And uh, it's no special flying, just flying around just to check uh, the picture quality. And the only distortion you can see on both uh, recordings are when there were obstacles between uh, the antenna of the quad and the antenna of the goggles. But also on the full throttle there was absolutely no, no strange uh, horizontal lines or something which comes from dirty power and they work both great. The great plus for the Polaro step down regulator for sure is this fixed uh, 12 volt output, uh, the size and the weight so you can install it really on every super small FPV racing frame and this is absolutely in my opinion the best solution if you don't have already regulated uh, V-outs on your board. So that's already all for today. I hope you liked the video. Give me a thumb up if you like it. Uh, comment, share, subscribe. And as always, happy flying. Bye bye.